Hello and welcome back to Radiated Brew Gaming. Uh, today we're continuing our career here in Hard Space Shipbreaker board salvage station number 42. Let's get into it. Good morning, Shipbreaker. Lynx would like to share the following message. The only peas permitted in the salvage yard are profit, processor, and potassium trifluoromethane sulfonate. Oh, the three P's. All right, folks. Got a priority message coming in for corporate. Everyone put down what you're doing and have a listen. Hmm. Maybe they're going to give us some holiday time. That'd be awesome. Hmm. That would be a first. Probably just another person kid going to appreciate that stuff. Hush up now, y'all. This is an important message to all Link Salvage Division employees. It's come to our attention, thanks to a very loyal member of our family, that there has been talk about forming a shipbreaker's union. A union is a dangerous thing, where extensive fees are extracted for so-called representation of your workers' rights. At Lynx, our top priority is already your well-being. This is why union activity is strictly prohibited by your contract for your own protection. To safeguard you and your work, we are immediately dispatching an administrator to every salvage sector. This administrator will oversee operations and ensure proper employee conduct. They are authorized to correct worker behavior by any means, and they'll remain in place until we can guarantee company-wide integrity. Until then, remember, the company is your family. The union is your enemy. Thank you. <laughs> no holiday. Told ya. A union? I haven't heard anything about that. Have you? Of course not. Probably happening around the Martian districts. They always been quarrels. You heard anything like that, Lou? Uh, no. Hey, Weaver, do you know when our administrator's showing up? Uh, week, maybe. Coming all the way from HQ at Jupiter Gate. When they get here, we'll need to be on our best behavior. Oh, great. Ah, nothing to fret about, all right? But they are going to be checking everything. Salvage logs, transmission records, operational efficiency. Oh, great. You'll be fine, Kai. It's not a performance review. Lou's right. Now, let's just try and keep our heads down and weather this storm together. See y'all in the yard. We were out. Hey, don't worry. This is a closed channel. There won't be a log. Well, looks like things might get a bit difficult around here. They're gonna try to make our lives hell. Don't worry. Just having access to the Union News Group doesn't make you a full-fledged member. Besides, no one from corporate has access. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. If anything happens, I'll make sure nothing comes down on you. Blue out. Well, okay. Looks like they're, uh, cracking down here. We got a new poster on our last trip into the sh into the bay here. What is that one? Uh, is that of the Hab? Ooh, and we have a new ship available. The Javelin Tanker Small. Beware of extensive fire hazards on board. An entry-level version of our tanker was easy to create by simply stripping out expensive creature comforts, cup holders, padded seats, safety features, and so on. Nice. All right. Check the terminal, see if we had any messages here. Got one. Mom and Pop to Megacorp. A little bit of story here about Lynx. 
Today, every ship traveling to every colony in the solar system does so thanks to Lynx Corp. Imagining our planet spanning civilization without Lynx and the business and technology acumen of its operators, the Paulson family, is inconceivable. Here is the journey of how the Paulson family turned a modest mom and pop recycling shop into the behemoth of progression and innovation we know today. The origin, a humble endeavor. Centuries ago, humanity decided to leave Earth for a better, brighter future, venturing into the outer wilds for new opportunities. In a matter of years, prominent companies like Martel Industries set up shop in the uncharted territories on and around Mars. In 2088, back at Earth, an ecological ecologically minded couple Kip and Gerda Schlesinger began a small and unassuming company recycling debris from the dangerous Kessler belt, Lynx Salvage. Their goal was to clear and recycle the deadly debris so that more people could safely reach orbit. The Schlesingers ran Lynx Salvage for 34 years, expanding into shipbreaking and growing the company's size at a steady rate. Over the next hundred years, ownership of the company was passed down through the family in 2204 Kip and Gerda's great-great-grandson Jonas Schlesinger became CEO. Jonas ran the company without much interest or promise. Four short years later, industrialist, philanthropist, and great innovator Exeter Paulson saw opportunity in the modest company. It was time for it to be placed in the right hands. After a brief negotiation period, Exeter took over the operation in 2208, combining all of his many holdings and interest into one company. Exeter rebranded Link Salvage to Lynx Corporation in 2210. Overnight, the humble, homely, earthbound business transformed into the, the prosperous solar megacorp it is today. Well, okay. Looks like not much has changed outside the window. We did get ourselves a new hab poster. Maybe we will place that. Hmm. Let's check the suit wall. Let's place that new poster right there. Maybe we should check and see if we have any upgrades to our equipment. We do need to repair our modular laser cutter. And we did rank up, so we do have a few few upgrade options here. Um, the grapple, we can extend the range. Tether lifetime can be increased. That might be a good one. Ooh, a little bit of... Uh, thruster upgrades here. Just kind of checking to make sure that we have used the durability uh, upgrade on everything. Cross spectrum scanner. That might I I do use the scanner a little more, or I have used it a little more as I've leveled up. It's been good to me. No demo charges yet. Uh, objects, systems, mm, not yet. Let's let's give our cutter a little love. Cool down, heat capacity. Yeah, we're gonna give it some heat capacity. Possibly some range. Yeah, let's upgrade its cool down and its range. Think we can spend these points on anything else? Looks like we've done all we can, so let's see what we got for a ship today. All right, so we did just finish the little Egudzian. Uh, we got the last bit of uh, salvage level with it, so we got all the rewards we can get for it. So we're gonna look at moving on to the next ship. That is the plan here. We did just unlock a new style of ship, this Javelin Tanker. So we are strongly going to consider that as our next option. We do have another Nomad Cargo Hauler that is netting us more repair kits than the Saucy Williams. That's a great ship name. We're working on Hazard Level 5 still. 
Well, well, well. It does look as though the Firefly... What is that? Uh, 14 is uh, offering us a little bit more... Just a little bit more Lynx tokens as well, which could be good. Ooh, the Thor. That is tempting. It's very, very... Ooh, uh, man, I kind of want to go for the Thor, even though it's only level 3, because it's the Thor. It does give us two repair kits, but I'm not sure I'm going to let myself be swayed by that here. I want to cut one of these up. Let's do it. Tethers, we could use a reload on. Morning, folks. How y'all holding up? I've had that question. A what? Hello? Who's over there? Who's the cleaning? You're. I can't hear you, Kaido. Kai, try switching to another frequency and then back again. Can you hear me now? I hear ya. Hey, okay. I have a question. What's this ad administrator gonna do? They're being countered. Waste our time with productivity reports. Oh, they've come here before? Sure, loads of times. Profits drop, they send someone. Accidents go up, they send someone. Sometimes they just send someone to find out if they need to send someone. That ain't a big deal, Kai. You heard right, Paulson. I guess they're just sleeping around for union stuff. Right? Yeah. Gonna be here a week, top. These types have the attention span of a gopher. They'll move on pretty quick. What's a gopher? <laughs> what? Boy, you better come visit sometime on Mars when you're done here. <laughs> One day, we'll all go see them gophers. What not? Keep that front of mind, and don't fret none. Carry on now. Weaver out. All right, so that's the start here of the day. Everybody's a little, a little freaked out by the announcement there from the company. So, as you would expect them to be. But this javelin, uh, they always come with a little ring around the front. It's kind of one of my favorite designs, but that all goes in the barge. So we're just kind of um, pulling those pieces apart, and then we'll get it get it going down here um, once this one has been claimed. Until then, we're just going to work on cutting apart some other pieces here. Let's see if this is pressurized. It doesn't look like this area is. We could just cut into the cockpit here possibly well we have to go inside to cut the parts never mind we can do it explosively we'll, we'll hold off on that for now I think this is all going to the barge as well big heavy pieces definitely start wanting to use some tethers more once you start getting to these bigger ships because these pieces just weigh a lot more cruise around the ship here, make sure we got everything trimmed off of it that we want to get trimmed off. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. So I think the rest of that front piece we have to get to from inside. Now this ring here around these big fuel tanks we might be able to start cutting up, but I'm gonna actually try, if I can find a door, try to get in this back end back here. Is that pressurized in there? Air 
airlock depressurizing. So green is pressure, red is not. Airlock pressurizing. Alright. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transfers. What do we got here? Some bins. This is where we can pressurize or depressurize the atmosphere, which we need to depressurize. So let's go ahead and hit that. Air pressure level decreasing. Airlock depressurizing. There we go. Just like that, we are out. So we are currently on the top, which isn't great for holding stuff out. So I'm gonna try to keep going in, start getting it cut out from the middle. That's the uh, best way. Ooh, we got a reactor in here. That's, that's gonna be good, that's gonna be good. That supplies power, so if we have anything we wanna get power from, we're gonna wanna get to that. But let's go ahead and... something coming out of there. Maybe we should open that door first. No big deal. I don't think we lost anything. All right. Let's get the bottom of this cut off. Okay, now we got a bunch of stuff to send on to the processor. I'm gonna try and get some things moving. Warning, low oxygen reserves. Get some oxygen. Welcome to Vendetron Dice. No. Oxygen levels stabilizing. Oh no. Let's cancel those. Still attached. <laughs> oh goodness. 
We're gonna save that from the furnace and then we'll pull it apart some more. This is all processor, so we're gonna let it go now. It's a big, heavy piece, so let's put all we can onto it. ship right now. Salvage deposit uh, registered. Uh, uh, Account credit. Crap. <laughs> Twisted around. It's all right. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. Object process. Transferring credit.
seconds left on this shift, but uh, I think we've pretty well cleaned up this back end, so pretty happy with this day. Got a chair. Just gotta get a chair. That's it. Seven and a half million for all that we got. Uh, we did... We lost three lights. Yeah, that's not bad. A little bit of aluminum. Not, not bad with the weights. You can see the little red bar at the very end. is uh, It's only 21000 worth. So, not not bad. So, that's going to wrap it up for today. Let me know what you think. Uh, hit the likes, hit the subscribes, and we will see you in the next one. Peace!